back, Peter Pearson. Here we are on another metal detecting trip. It is rainy out. I am on Cemetery Road, getting ready to check Oxable Creek. I want to do some creek hunting, but it's raining today. I'm not sure how much the water came up overnight, so I just came down this road to give a quick peek at this creek, see if I can see bedrock or is it up. I mean, it's it's fairly decent. You could actually do some hunting down there. I got a sand scoop, but that's just going to get bent and probably tore apart in all these boulders. So I don't know how creek hunting is going to actually go today. I might actually try to get on the riverbank up by Gallinger's Pumpkin Farm by the dam and try to walk. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I did a video. Three something odd weeks, something like that, man. I've been working. Lot to do, but I'll bring you back when we get up there. I'm hoping to pull out some silver, maybe some Civil War artifacts. I'd love to find like a little bayonet or something. That'd be awesome. Even like a little three ringer bullet. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. I'd make a necklace out of it. I did recently just get this silver coin necklace. Oh, okay. I do have it on. I didn't feel it for a second. I about got scared. Oh, it's here though. Bam. Once we stop, I'll show you it better up there. But yeah, I'm driving. I'll get back to you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Pierre Pearson. No, I'm not hunting the field today. I'm just using it to access the river. <laughs> but we are out here doing another metal detecting expedition. Got the coffee on the hip. You know what's good, what's good. Gotta have that coffee to get going. But anyways, got me some new boots. I figured I'd come out here and get a little wet. Yes, it's raining out. I do not care about the condition. I have been itching all winter to get out and do some digging. Today it's happening. I don't care what we find. 99% is going to be junk. I can guarantee it. I'm going to be hunting the river bank. Going to find a lot of washed up, lightweighted junk. Like pop cans, pop tops. Probably some boat and keys, just a prediction. A lot of flooding goes on here. So I'm going to try to get more toward the gravel than the sandy areas because I don't want to be hunting all that junk all the time. But I'll definitely keep you guys up to date what's going on, how wet I am, how cold it is. Don't feel like getting in my pocket to get the temperature out, but I will once we get up there in the woods and in the location and out of the rain a little bit. Got a deer stand up in the tree over here. You can probably see the silver chain hanging from it, if anything. Yeah, that river, I hope's not up too much. I was going to go do some. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back. Definitely want to do some more arrowhead hunting this year. Let's see. Alright, I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Well, we finally made it here. Out here at the Lock and Dam again. Out here. Wow, metal detecting the uh, turns where everything will wash up. Looking more in the gravel where the heavy stuff would settle, more like the gold and silver. <laughs> All the way around the bank. Looks like I want to have some competition up there. I got two geese talking crap. Yeah, I'll be up there in a minute. Don't worry, bro. I'm coming. I'm coming. Pack me all you want. It's cool. But, on the other hand, we do have a target here. Hitting it on the simplex. Where'd she go? There she is. Ringing up a 77 over here on the river's edge. So I'm going to pull that up and see what it is. I'm going to let you guys sit here and watch it. I haven't seen it yet. Let's go to some of the gravel back. That's about it. I have no idea where it is or what it is. And I have no pen pointer. Alright, so let's open this general area. Yeah, no gloves either. I think I got it. Definitely ain't that. What's this? That's this, whatever this is. Yeah, got a love having the river right behind you. And it is melted metal can. 
like I said, today's going to be 99% junk. I have done one other hole. You guys were not there, and it was a 45 caliber uh, handgun bullet. Just the casing, not the round. All right, I'll be back when we find more. Beautiful scenery out here. How you realize what the floods do, and it's hard to hunt due to these reasons. All that debris. So 99% of your digs are junk. Pop cans, I've got quite a few so far. I only got until about 3.30, so I'm probably gonna finish walking this little strip for about another 15, 20 minutes, and then head back to the car and switch locations. I might go do a baseball field. Yeah, I think that might be a better option for me. Especially today. Local park, baseball field. I'm getting burnt out on hunting them, but not much options. A little warmer, I'll be doing more creeks and swimming holes. That's a 60. Think I see it. She's a stinker sinker. Stinker sinker. Two for one. I mean, I am saving some money on fishing gear this year. It's probably about my fourth sinker I found. Sounds like another one. A little different tone though. Might be a smaller version. I'm not digging that deep. Why do I hear people? Is my phone going off? Yep. You got videos playing on my cellular device. Alright, that's taken care of. Alright, I'm gonna walk down a little bit more. Probably about to that sign. You can probably see it about right there. Oh no, it looks a little beachy up there. Might try to go there. More people probably conjure there in the summer. I don't know. I won't be here much longer though. I'll get back to you. Well, we finally made it past the sandy part. Once I got in sand, I was pulling out coins. I found three, two pennies, one dime. But I had enough fun here. I think I'm going to head to a park, drive back to town, and go hit up an old park in town that I know about. I've been there before. I wonder what the hell this is. Someone out here doing something. No damn woods. Got some moonshiners on our hands or what? We follow the good old blue road. We follow the good old blue road. We follow, we follow, we follow, we follow, we follow the good old blue road. Well, it ain't running. I wonder if it's just an old beat up one someone dumped, or does it actually lead somewhere? Does it actually lead somewhere? Where are we going? Ooh, quail! Another quail! Some things really do wait for you to get right up on them. Alright, oh, here she is. Alright, well, it's overlooking the field. Last I knew this flood field floods way too much. Maybe the farmer's trying to add water? I don't know. Suck water back out when it floods? I don't know. His business, not mine. I'm just getting through, going home. Where are we at now? Alright, my destination is across the field. I didn't really plan on getting my boots all muddy. And then getting in my car. So it looks like I'll have to step in the canal. When I get there, it'll clean off my boots. But, yeah, I'll bring you guys back when we get to the other destination. Or at least back in the car a little situated. Because, as you see, my hands are full. I've been doing some digging. I probably don't look the cutest. But, you know... I want to get off camera so I can kind of look at the ground, maybe find an arrowhead or something on the way through the field. Looks like they freshly tilled it, so 
odds could be in my favor. If I find anything, I'll bring you back on. Stay tuned. Alright, we're back to the car now. Whew. These things were caked in mud. I just had to walk down there and clean them off. This one right here, my socks practically off. Well, it is off. It is off. <laughs> then slid up to the tips of my toes. That's okay. Feet ain't cold, we're good. Oh yeah, I never did tell you guys temperature. It is... One second. You know what, I download, got rid of my weather app last night. Weather 1 to download a different one. So I could have a live radar. Gotta go get her off the bus. But I'll probably be back out again after she gets off the bus because she was wanting to go today too. Alright, see you. Well, I finally made it to the park. My baseball field park and I'm doing the curbside first. And I found my first target. Well, I've dug one other one. It was just popped up. But I found my first real target. kind of looks silver. No, it's not a coin. Get that out of there. An old key. Or a pit of some type. It's pretty cool. Found it right here by this big old old tree. We got a few more to check along the curbside before I actually get in the park, but definitely glad I came to the park. Luck's looking better. It rang up uh, between 48 and 50. I have to clean that up when I get home and find out if it's silver. I mean, I don't know because it's just hard to tell. I bet it was plated, if anything, because it looks almost like it's turning copper. Sorry about that sky view, but there's some shiny spots on it still. Yep, that goes in the keeper pouch. I'll bring you back if I find anything else. Well, I'm still here at the park. Found one quarter, that key. Rest practically junk. I finally moved inside the park. Had two cops drive by. I'm just waiting to get approached now. When I have to school, I'm on the local laws of metal detecting, I guess. Any public area is free. Any private land you need. Permission. This is a public park. They can get salty all they want. Unless it's a state natural preserve. Right here, average Joe kind of day. Yep. I might get out in the baseball field here soon. But I do only got till 3.30. Last I looked at the clock, it was 1 something. Alright, I'm putting the camera away. Easier to detect without it. Well, I found my next little keeper. Looks like a dirty Christmas wreath, and it might be silver even. It has some pretty decent weight to it, and it don't seem to be rusting. It just seems to be dirty. Heck yeah. Oh man, looks like my camera was in there. Oh, sorry about that. Has some green in it. I can't tell if it has 925 on it yet though. It's still very caked in the back. I'll have to get home and clean it. Alright, onward and upward. Let's keep moving. Now this I can't make up. No, it ain't gold. It ain't silver. But I'm sitting here, walking into the baseball field. I'm sure you see it already. I swear to God in my life, I did not set none of that there. A dollar 05, right on the surface. One of the only hobbies that'll pay you. Simple, easy. I swear to God, I did not set that there. That's why I turned down the camera. I was like, no way, I gotta get this. about to call it. I don't think we're going to get any luck. Probably have better luck by the concession stand over there, if anything. Oh, 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 what we got? She seems to be reading up as a 70. 66, 
67. We're gonna dig it. I'll bring you guys back. I bet. Uh, it's not fun. Well, I bet you could have predicted what it was. Yeah, my lens is fogging up pretty bad. But it is a button to like a baseball outfit. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk me? The garbage can right over there. Set everything out on the bench. Let you guys. Alright, let's go through the stuff we got today. We'll start with the junk pile. Not all this is from today. Fencing hook. I can't show this, just real quick. Can't show the name or date, but I found this a while back. I gotta mail it back to the guy. It's actually a... It's a gold card. I'll show you his name, but yeah. That's all I can give you. Got to mail it back to him. Keep slacking on that. It was all winter long and I haven't been metal detecting, but trash. And I'll put a trash pile, random objects, and the good stuff. So I'll make three different piles. Trash. Want some toothpaste? Eyeball finds. Batteries, of course. Got to have the batteries. Mason jar lid. That was about a foot down. That was here at the park, too. This was at the river, as you can tell by the sand. We got some. This was at the river also. Young individually, so each one is separate. That's a lot of digging. Junk, junk. I ain't gonna show it little by little. I'm just gonna lay it out and then fan the camera over it. Which, that bugs me. They just show it throughout the dig and only 30% of this is probably from today. The rest has just been sitting in my bag and I haven't shown it so I'm gonna show it yet so you guys get a... I do not have a pen pointer so all this is just digging and waving in front of the detector. Ten times longer but sometimes it's quick. It'll be right there, first one. Alright, I'll bring you guys back. Alright, so this is the junk pile. There's my sinker collection I got going. I keep those. The rest I toss out in the garbage can right behind me. But yes, I pull a lot of this out of parks. As you can see, a lot of it is sharp and can hurt kids. So I really hope I never get bugged with metal detecting the parks. But here's the coins I got. Got over a dollar fifty in silver. This, I think it says Nissan on it. I think it goes to an old Hot Wheels. Yeah. Man, if it wasn't so mucky and everything. What's it? Oh, that, that's another dime. That's a dollar seventy. But yeah, all this was modern. Oh, there's another dime. Dime that's just red. It's dollar eighty. And that gold card, I got a mail to that guy. I will get it one out. But yeah. I'm going to go home and be cleaned up for the kid has to come home, and then who knows, we might go out again. I might go to my cousin's house and do a yard hunt. I might videotape that too. Stay tuned to find out. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Peace.